Hey Rock Bags, it's Jade with a Valheim news update. And for Xbox players, sad news, your fix for your worlds disappearing is not in this patch. It's a bit of a shame, I've got to say, it's been quite a while since it launched, and to not have this in the first patch is just a bit of a letdown. But we'll go through some of that stuff and talk about what is in the patch and when you can hopefully expect to see a fix for Xbox. Now the blog post does state that they're sorry about the issues Xbox players have had and does have a workaround or a solution. So we'll get to that in a second, but let's take a look at what has actually been fixed. So manual saves no longer cause you to respawn where you've saved and can be called to a dedicated server if you are on the admin list. Left-handed mouse players should now work correctly again for PC, added swap triggers to control options to be able to fix potential issue for PlayStation controllers, fix performance issues in the main menu, fix some special characters appearing as squares and symbols should look more like they did before, hover text and text input on signs should now be displayed correctly and can use the forward slash T and forward slash N symbols, text on signs should now be lit correctly and no lower glow, various UI text fixes that were being displayed incorrectly, fix an issue where the scrolling was slow and inverted on Linux, engine updated to Unity version blah 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 blah, and settings for key binding should now be saved correctly. Console specific fixes, remember this update has gone live for everyone on PC and Xbox, added graphic settings balanced mode with 40 FPS and 1440p on Series X and 900p on Series S. Right stick now only controls the character rotation and character screen, right analog stick no longer has double functionality in the character creation menu. Height map differences between Xbox and PC have now been almost entirely eliminated. This means that some areas in Xbox worlds will have a significant terrain change and if you've built in these areas, the buildings may unfortunately collapse. So if you had issues where players would appear in the air or walk below the ground, that was why. Hopefully that's been fixed now. And then this bit here. Something else that we're working on is to fix the issue where Xbox worlds have been reset into day one after reaching a certain size. We have identified the problem, believe we've found a solution to it, which would, should be featured in the next patch. For now, we apologize and thank you for your patience. You can use the Manage Saves button in the world selection to recover an early version of your world if you run into any world issues. And also if you're having an unplayable game in the latest patch, you can always run the latest stable version by changing the default old branch on Steam. Well sadly that isn't an option on Xbox as Xbox doesn't have the PTB, which is weird because Windows 10 does. Normally Windows 10 does pretty much share all of that stuff with Xbox as well. You normally find it on the Xbox Insider program. But as I discovered, it wasn't there. They haven't got it for Valheim yet. And no one's got back to me yet on whether or not they can be adding it. So yeah, for the first time, I think I am a little bit disappointed with Valheim. This will happen. It does happen to early access, but it does bring flashbacks back from the bad old days of Ark being on Xbox and game preview, where worlds would be frequently wiped and seemingly taking forever to get the problem resolved. At least they're acknowledging it. Sometimes Ark would not do that at all. And you'd be just scratching, wondering around what's going on unless you followed them on Twitter. So if you've been wondering how to load up an older save, maybe give this a shot, maybe it'll work. But if you press the left stick in to manage saves, you should then be able to see all of your previous ones. Now you can see I've got a lot deleted because I recently cleared out my cache. But yeah, you may want to see if you can load up an old previous one. I've actually gone through the long process of uploading a PC save onto my Windows 10 version of Alheim so that I could then put that version onto my Xbox as I'm going to start up a brand new Let's Play. But I wanted to do it on Xbox to show what the gameplay is like for everyone. I don't really want to start it until this issue with the world saves has been fixed. But if you click expand, it should then bring up any of the older ones. And you can see here we've got restore backup. So I'm not too sure on the size. Apparently something about if it's bigger than 5 MB, then that might be causing the issues. But ultimately, if your problem or you've had a problem with your world being destroyed like this, then reloading it's only going to solve it for a little while. At least reload the save, find one that was made a backup save beforehand, and then basically just don't play Valheim on that world or with that character until you see the next update. Valheim's been out nearly two weeks now on the Xbox, and they did have a small fix for some of this stuff, but it's just kind of a shame they haven't managed to solve that problem yet. So Valheim is ported by two different studios. They take basically the stuff from Iron Gate and transform it into what we see on Xbox and Windows 10. So I'm hoping things can be done a bit quicker if this happens again. What I will say is though, this did happen on PC. There was a substantial issue with worlds being deleted when the game first launched. And they did get on top of it. 
And since then, I can't say I've ever seen too many issues or problems with worlds being deleted. So while I could be a bit critical now, I do have a lot of confidence in Valheim devs that they are going to get this resolved and that we're not going to see maybe returns of stuff like this happening in the future. But it's all about that port teams and how they work and how stuff goes forward. So fingers crossed the next time I'll be doing a video about Valheim update, it will have that fix for you and hopefully not too long. Persevere and stick with the game, I promise you it is one of the best games I've ever played. I found the experience on Series X to be absolutely fantastic. And I'm sure once they get through these issues, it'll be a lot more stable and you can all enjoy in the new content that will be coming in the future and still carry on exploring the worlds that maybe you haven't been able to because of this bug. So until next time, Ratbags, quick one for me today. I'll see you later.